in that example that God said this is for you understand how this worked and you'll understand how it works for you Israel had grace in the form of the blood over the door and the cloud to lead them out that blood placed over the door the night before left them completely completely owned by the cloud that comes the next morning this is grace now that cloud said I'm going to lead you out of here but they did not have a, a meeting as to what path to take he said there's one path this cloud is going to take one destination this cloud is headed for now your faith is made possible by that cloud. You establish your faith on anything but that cloud and, to, and you, you will be in Egypt tomorrow morning making bricks and mourning the loss of your eldest child. If your faith is not established on an ordained path of grace, it will fail you. Jesus said, grace has come to fulfill the law. The way it came out is the way it will go back. He comes as a spotless flesh offers himself to be crucified on that cross. That's the blood upon the door. But just like Egypt, if you place the blood upon the door, the cloud is knocking the next morning. And that perfect Jesus is saying to all of us, take up your cross and follow me for the way of faith is the way of grace and grace came fulfilling the law grace brings a spotless flesh crucified fulfilling the law that man can bring another flesh and crucify what can never, never keep the law. It all meets at that brazen altar. If there's not two sacrifices made, it will fail. Jesus said then, in Romans 8 that you are therefore no longer obligated to that flesh and the ways of that flesh faith cannot take a different road than grace in Romans 8 4 it says this that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so could we not say of the new testament that because we are led by grace and that cloud we are indeed led of the spirit in the new testament but could you not accurately also state that because that spirit said, I will not depart from the law, that those who are led by the spirit are also led by the law. It is the character of God that must lead us. It is that which faith is enabled to fulfill. The life of God will never be foreign to its nature, never be, 
never be. Only by the meeting, grace comes out from the ark to the brazen altar, that faith can come from the brazen altar to the ark. But it can only come by the crucifixion that takes place at that altar. First of him, and then of you. Now here again I say to you, is the deception of hell and the religiously sophisticated. We have found the value of the sacrifice apart from its death. Thank you, Lord. Only there at that point, everything starts, and the church moves out in the life that's not God, and that's why we don't see God's power and provision. I pray, Lord, that you make this real in our hearts and minds. I pray, Lord, that you take the intricacies. God, bring them together. Do that, Lord, which I so miserably failed to do. Help us to understand, God, to be like Jesus is to be like Jesus.